Welcome back to Jamming In Their Repair. Today, as usual, I guess, something a little different. This telephone is from my childhood. Uh, it is has a date mark on the bottom here of 1950. My phone would focus. So, uh, and the internal parts all have uh, 50s on them. So I guess that means 1950. Uh, I kind of remember this phone on 38th Street, but I remember my dad had it set up in his office for a while. So, in Makwan. Anyways, you can almost read the number, and if anybody can tell me the missing digits. So, a phone number used to be Hopkins 3. You can see there, there's a 3, and then a missing number, 20. So, you would dial H O. Three, three something two zero was your phone number. So Hopkins three was our home phone number. <sighs> and of course a rotary phone, you just put your finger in here and you dial. So I got this phone and I just wanted to make it work. So I, uh, I started playing with it. The first thing I did was wiped it off. I didn't really wash it, um, but I did just wipe off all the crud because it was kind of nasty to, to handle it. I didn't want to put a nasty foam up to my mouth. So, other than that, it's pretty much the way it was. Sorry about that. Uh, the receiver here, uh, how heavy this receiver is. Um, the top part, in case you don't know, maybe you're a child, is the earpiece. And the bottom part down here is the microphone. So you hold it up to your head and talk down here. So this part here, let's weigh this thing. Let's see here. Everybody know how to work this thing? There we go. So this is 13.3 ounces so one pound equals 16 ounces so just shy of uh, a pound so that's pretty heavy but this whole entire phone here what does that weigh I'm not on it right here we go Switch the grams. Hold on. Let me switch it. Okay. I guess that's two pounds. Two ounces. So, pretty heavy, actually. And you could, you know, there used to be murder stories of people hitting or killing somebody with their phone. Wham! Slamming it on their head. And, uh, <laughs> Uh, more than one person has died by being hit with a phone. So, anyways, it's kind of a neat device. And what I did was I went and bought one of these adapters here. Okay, and it just changes it from the old plug to the new plug. Um, so that way I can maybe get it to plug into something to make it work. So, I'm going to just plug this in here, which is impossible to do with one hand. So, and just like that. Um, it takes the four prongs and converts it to a Molex, I guess, or I don't know what to call these connectors. But the next thing you need to do is nobody offers uh, dial-up service in the United States anymore. So, you cannot use a rotary phone on any modern uh, telephone service, 
okay? So what you have to do is you have to get yourself one of these guys. See if I can give you a good picture of it. Uh, this guy... Okay, it's right there. Right here. Um, converts the dial pulses of the phone boop, 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 to DTMF, digital beeps and bops that you hear when you dial the phone. So, you simply just plug this guy into that. Again. There you go. So, get that all plugged in. Now that just uh, will give you the dial out capabilities of the pulse tones. Now you still need to get this connected to a service of some sort. And I went with this device here. It's a Polycom SIP. Uh, no, no emergency phone calls. Okay. What this does is um, connects to the internet. And you have a couple of connectors on here. One of them is a power cord. All right. The next one over is an Ethernet cable. So you can plug it directly into your router. Okay. I've chosen to buy the extra Polycom OBI wireless adapter. I'm really dissatisfied with this phone's focusing capabilities. Um... So anyway, so I went wireless, so I can put the phone anywhere I want that has a power outlet. So, the phone dialer plugs in right here. Okay. So that's your setup. Alright. And of course it just plugs into the wall. You have to Go on to Google, and with your Gmail account, you don't have to create a new one, sign up for a Google phone service, uh, Google Voice, and it's free for home users, okay? And there's no guarantees. It, it, it's kind of a, you know, it might be here today, it might be gone tomorrow at Google's whim. So you can't be a business and do this. Um, it's just personal telephone access that's all it is and uh, who knows how long it'll be free but it's been free for well over 10 years now I think it's been a long time uh, so this is the setup you have to of course uh, set up the polycom the directions are very good with this and the wireless so you simply like you do any modern wireless device you connect to this dongle with your phone and you simply um, set up the Wi-Fi connection to your wireless router. So that's easy. And the same thing with this. So you, you associate this box with your Google Voice phone number. And uh, it all took me a couple of hours, to be honest, to get this all to work properly. Um, and it's not that hard. I ran into a problem where the wiring on this is wrong. So if your wires are good, you probably won't have the issues I did. Um, also, I had to uh, take it apart and fix the ringer because the ringer on the phone didn't work anymore. So I was showing my granddaughter how to use this phone. And she's eight years old. And I was telling her, you got now one nine two right and uh she kept doing holding it here too long which on this phone is actually call waiting uh you can di dial all the modern conveniences of this phone using this guy here the directions on here are excellent hold on just a second yeah, so this is the uh, dialogismo.com, and these are the directions for it. And uh, this uh, device, I paid, I went and got the better one. I bought a cheap one, it didn't work. So buy this one, it's awesome. They give you very good directions written 
in English by people I think that speak English. And uh, you can do all all sorts of stuff. So it's real super uh, dial hold. So you can see you can do all these different things with this uh, um, rotary setup. You name it. Storing a speed dial so you can have a speed dial. All this stuff you can do with this. Anyways, so I am very pleased with the dialagismo.com uh, dialer for me. All right, so let's make a phone call. Take the receiver off the hook. We'll dial my number. You hear it beeping? That is the um, that's that little white box right there doing the beeping for me. All right. So uh, hold on a second. Let me dial my number here. Google is calling. It's obviously you can see here. I break up the handset. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, can you hear me? Alright. So you know that works. Cool. The audio coming out of the audio coming out of the microphone on here that the people on the other end here is kind of kind of crappy so there's something wrong with the microphone on here I may or may not fix it it's not like I'm trying to have a long conversation on this this phone you know so uh, nobody has a phone number for this phone except my son a little stinker called his cell phone with it <laughs> and he said now I'm gonna call you in the middle of the night and you gotta get up and answer the phone you know so maybe you're a kid and you never understood why we say hang up the phone. Well, the phone handle hangs on top of the phone. And you can mount, some phones you can mount on the wall and the phone receiver would hang on the hook. So you would hang up your phone. That means put the damn thing down. Okay. Um, oh, well, so that's all I got. It's a neat. Novelty item. I like it. Not terribly expensive. You could use the setup and use it for a daily phone if you want it. You could get a modern cordless phone from Radio Shack for 20 bucks. <laughs> I ain't know where there's a Radio Shack. Um, that's all I got for you. Old, new. All right. So that's where the chair lives on the little corner table here by the entryway. And uh, a quaint little table with a lot of technology. Well, you saw all the technology for home, but that is an infrared blaster, an IR blaster that you can program to send infrared controls to my entertainment center so that little hockey puck there is technology the light is a uh, a google ready smart bulb so that all works real nice but anyways it occurred to me we need to make a phone call um let's see what happens That's what it sounds like when it rings. It's 
kind of a soothing sound. What do you want? So, part of the reason that foam is so heavy is so you could take and stretch the cord out without it falling off the table, okay? And I gotta tell you, back in the 70s, if you had a 20-foot cord on your phone, you were the man. This, this is like a 5-foot cord. It's literally meant to sit here and talk on this chair on the phone. That's all that's used for. But without that phone weighing so much, that phone would have slid off the there it moved. Uh, we're going to slid off that table. So, and I'm sure it's been dropped plenty of times. So, cool, neat little thing. Thanks for watching my videos. Uh, leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Have any questions? Give me a thumbs up, a thumbs down. I appreciate all of that. And I'm sorry about the focus on my phones lately. Bye-bye.
All right, got her plugged in here. Got the power flowing here. All right, that's the telephone light blinking. I think we're ready. We have power. We have phone. Let's see here. I don't know where the microphone is on this. Anyway, there's a dial tone. Sweet. All right. <sighs> Let's make the phone call. I have to switch phones. Hold on a second. All right, so that's where the chair lives on the little corner table here by the entryway. And uh, a quaint little table with a lot of technology. Well, you saw all the technology for the phone, but that is an uh, infrared blaster, an IR blaster that you can program to send infrared controls to my entertainment center. So that little hockey puck there is technology. The light is a, a Google Ready smart bulb. So that all works real nice. But anyways, it occurred to me we need to make a phone call. Um, let's see what happens. That's what it sounds like when it rings. It's kind of a soothing sound. What do you want? So, part of the reason that phone is so heavy is so you could take and stretch the cord out without it falling off the table, okay? And I gotta tell you, back in the 70s, if you had a 20-foot cord on your phone, you were the man. This, this is like a 5-foot cord. It's literally meant to sit here and talk on this chair on the phone. That's all that's used for. But without that phone weighing so much, that phone would have slid off the air it moved. Uh, we're going to slid off that table. So, and I'm sure it's been dropped plenty of times. So, cool neat little thing. Thanks for watching my videos. Uh, leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Have any questions? Give me a thumbs up, a thumbs down. I appreciate all of that. And I'm sorry about the focus on my phones lately. Bye-bye.